All right, let's cover how to actually make file changes now that we know how to kind of operate a Vagrant. So what we need to do is turn Vagrant back on, and I'm actually gonna close VirtualBox. We don't need to see it loading anymore. We know it's all gonna happen from the command line. And as that's going, what I wanna do is walk you through the Vagrant file. And now in this repo that you downloaded, and whatever you called it, whatever I want, or my project, and it's in your project folder. Whenever you download Vagrant, it's gonna create a .vagrant folder. You can just ignore this. You can get ignore this. It's uh, totally normal. And it has a readme. We don't, we could delete this, say we don't care. And just to clean this up for clarity of what is actually happening here. I'm even gonna get rid of our git ignore. Okay. And this Git re GitHub repo is essentially only two things. One, a Vagrant file, and this is like the settings for Vagrant. And then two, a public folder where all, whatever we want as part of our files for our project to go. So the Vagrant file, real quick, you don't have to understand this if you don't want to. I have that other course that covers this pretty extensively, but uh, in a layman's way of saying it, this this is like your settings and it's saying, down, use Scotchbox, and I'm just gonna comment these out. And this is all in Ruby syntax. It's gonna say, put Scotchbox at the IP address that I say, which is this one. And now hopefully you guys know where that IP address came from, from the previous lesson. It's gonna set a host name, and then it's gonna sync the public folder to the folder where the web server on Scotchbox is serving so that we can make file changes direct. So if we open up 192 again, I actually deleted in, in Scotchbox public folder, it comes with this default landing page. I'll, I'll put it back real quick. It comes with this default landing page, which I showed you. It's just let you know you made it, you're installed, it has, it lets you, it lists through all the different things that are um, set up and it has this huge amount of markup just for illustrative purposes. We don't really need that for the demo and you don't need that for your actual project. So let's delete it. And as a proof of concept, let's do hello world or let's go just make sure PHP is running. We'll do hello echo world. And then afterwards we'll do a bunch of gross BRs and do PHP info. And now I'm at this IP address. And if I scroll to the top, hello world, a bunch of gross BRs, and then it prints out my PHP info, which is really neat because we can go through and see all the different things that are installed. But this was all listed on the website. Every single PHP feature you could ever imagine should be here for most of them. That's how you edit files. So if you had, say, a, a project, you could just start putting things inside of public and get coding. That's as easy as it, as, um, it goes. In the next lesson, I want to talk about database stuff, like, like you can already see it, like Mongo, MySQL, and how to connect to that. And then from there, we'll cover kind of like cleaning things up a little bit. So like giving you like a, a fake name, like whatever I want, .dev or .local or dot app or dev dot whatever I want. We'll show you how to set that up and that will kind of wrap up what we're trying to do. And then after that, we'll go into actual demos if you need it, like installing WordPress and Laravel.